Hey guys, Vincent Jello here. Welcome back. Uh, today I've got another thrift haul video for you guys. Uh, I've been finding a lot of tapes lately. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, like I've been saying, you know, it's, it's quite often it's hit or miss, but uh, this last couple weeks has just been crazy. So I've got a ton of stuff here. So I figured, hey, let's do another video. Show you guys what I've got. Uh, so let's get to it. First off, guys, some stuff that I do kind of collect is uh, some of these He-Man characters. These old action figures. And I always keep an eye out, you know, no big deal. Just kind of see what's there. Uh, but I found some really cool ones. Ones I actually don't have. Uh, I'll probably do a, you know, a video of some of the stuff that I do have. Some of the He-Man stuff up in the side here. But uh, we will kind of show you around the room. I've been kind of redoing the, the video room here. But uh, look at this, guys. Hordak. Are you kidding me? He's got his vest. He doesn't have the weapons. But uh, incredible. Looks good, you know, I'll clean them up. The legs are usually a little wonky on these guys, but this one looks like he's fine. Look at that. Unbelievable. Just sitting in there. It was in with some other toy here. I don't know what this is, but some kind of weird crash bandicoot werewolf thing or something. I don't know. Anybody knows what this is, leave me some comments below before I get rid of it. Uh, let me know what this thing is, because I've never seen this thing. I don't know what the heck it is. 1991 Mirage Studios Playmate Toys. I don't know. Some kind of weird thing. His head turns. Kind of cool. Don't know what he is, but uh, we'll put him up there for now. But anyways, guys, yeah. Hordak. Leader of the evil horde, man. This guy's badass. He's even more medieval than uh, Skeletor, man. So very cool. Uh, I can't remember how he works or what he does or if he had like a movement. Not just the vest. Anyway, super cool. And then, right next to it, I'm sitting there, Whiplash from He-Man as well. I'll just rip him out of the bag here. Looks like he's in pretty good shape. Again, no weapons. You don't really expect to find the weapons on this kind of stuff. But uh, look at that. Get this out of here. Check it out. I mean, the guy's like clean and everything. Again, the legs are... No, look at the legs are actually okay. Ridiculous. I think that guy was like four bucks. Pretty cool. I mean, that guy looks like brand new. I mean, these are like 1984, so we're looking like 35 years old, man. It's ridiculous. And then, a two pack. What do we got in here? We got. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Beautiful. Mechanic without his vest. Uh, still works. Check it out. I mean, I'll buy that any day. Man, he doesn't have the vest, but who cares? He's kind of got like a weird... Man, it's in good shape, though, man. Look at that. Crazy. And the last one here, guys, before we get to the videos. Roboto. Again. Look at this. Gears work and everything. Incredible. Now, I never had these guys. I kind of have more of a collection of, uh, you know, the evil horde and evil warriors guys. Not not so much the, uh, the good guys, but I'll take these guys. That's something kind of weird on that other one. I don't know. It's kind of a weird residue. Anyways, hopefully we don't transfer that to the VHS. But anyway, there, there you go, guys. Mr. Roboto. All right, let's get serious. Woo! First one, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Guys, this is the tape. It actually has the... Uh, Legend of Sleepy Hollow on it, I believe. Uh, from what I'm aware of, yeah. Yeah. The Wind in the Willows and The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, both on here. Kind of a harder one to find. Uh, yeah, you can buy it. You guys are selling it 10, 15 bucks, even more, but I've never bought it. But I don't have the uh, Legend of Sleepy Hollow, which is a classic 30 minute cartoon. Uh, and that's on here. So, pretty stoked about that. Then, guys, check this out. Transformers. This is the original 1984 cartoon, guys. Uh, incredible. Find these on tape. This this episode is called The Ultimate Doom. And then I also have... Uh, there's the back. And then I also have the uh, the Autobots versus the Decepticons. Uh, and this one here... Sorry, guys. My bad. This actually has three episodes on the back. The, the volume is titled The Ultimate Doom. So there you go. And this one's called The Autobots versus the Decepticons. And this one has three episodes as well 
very cool to find these. Um, just a regular black tape. But uh, yeah, these were like a buck each. It's great stuff. Great stuff. What else we got? The Bugs Bunny, Bugs Bunny Roadrunner movie. Now I have not seen this, but you know it's interesting because you don't see a lot of uh, Warner Brothers VHS tape. You know it's always Disney, 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 Disney. You know and that's okay, but like it's nice to mix in a little Warner Brothers once in a while. So this is a Bugs Bunny Roadrunner movie. Might be kind of cool. Haven't seen it. What else we got here? And another one. Looney Tunes, Warner Brothers. Look at this. Taz's Jungle Jams. That one's pretty cool. I think it's got like a weird brown case to it too. Kind of a weird brown clamshell. Uh, kind of dig that. But, uh, you know, again, you don't really see a lot of Bugs Bunny and especially Taz on VHS. So pretty stoked about that one, guys. Uh, and this one, as a kid, Escape to Witch Mountain. This is probably one of the first Disney things I ever saw, like on TV or whatever. But I always remember seeing the commercials, Escape to Witch Mountain, and, you know, being a horror guy, even as a kid. I'm like, man, this sounds cool. It sounds like a horror movie or something, like a kid's thing. Of course, it's not. Um, it's kind of like a supernatural kind of thing, I think. But definitely a cool tape. I'll probably watch this at some point, just for nostalgia's sake. But again, kind of a neat one. Not really scary, but again, I thought it was as a kid. This thing here, Seven Alone, Children's Video Library. Kind of like a little runoff on the old uh, Disney kind of case. Seven youngsters on a courageous journey across the front frontier without their parents. Based on a true story. I don't know. Never seen it. Uh, it looks pretty old school, man. Like, that is... I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, like the old tape with a sticker on there and everything. And the embossed... Embossed case on the inside? I mean, they put a lot of work into some of this stuff. I don't know if it was really worth it, but kind of cool to have this one now. And of course, uh, rounding out the clamshells here, guys, we've got DuckTales the movie, Treasures of the Lost Lamp. I ran into a guy the other day, we were chatting about DuckTales, and he was saying how he had this one and the other uh, DuckTales on VHS, and he wished he had it. But I mean, you check around, you still find these things, right? Oh, DuckTales was always good. Uh, I've got a few other tapes, just not the uh, clamshells, but there you go, guys. Good one. All right, now let's get into the slip cases. Let's get serious here. One of my all-time favorites. I do have a, I don't know if you can see it in this video. No. I've got quite a series of these uh, Ren and Stimpy tapes. Don't have this one. Love Ren and Stimpy. you got a, kind of a Ren and Stimpy collection. I'll probably show you guys that at some point, too. Always love these guys. I like these, too. they got the orange tape inside. Um, always loved it. Classics Volume 2, uh, Two Timeless Tales plus Action Log Video Bonus. Can never have enough uh, Action Log, or just Log in general. Uh, Stimpy's Fan Club and Sven Hoek are the episodes. There you go. I always dug that. Uh, a couple of, uh, this one's like 93-ish, I think. My Boyfriend's Back. I believe this was produced or directed by Sean Cunningham. Produced by, of course, from Friday the 13th fame, uh, House as well. Uh, this one's okay, kind of a black comedy, kind of a zombie teen comedy kind of thing. I kind of dig it. Uh, got that kind of retro flair to it, you know. Pretty good. What else we got here? Oh, this one here. Last Resort. A great sex comedy. A Vestron tape, no less. Sick. Uh, I don't have this one. I have quite a few of these old sex comedies, uh, you know. I think my favorite being uh, Blame It on Rio, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, if you guys check that one out, it's a good one. Uh, Joysticks as well. Uh, but this one, I think Joysticks was put out by Lightning Video. The uh, stepchild of, uh, the redhead stepchild of uh, Vestron. This is a good one though, guys. Last Resort, you, know, you remember these covers, I mean, it's crazy, right? It's always very enticing. Scantily clad ladies on the front. And then this one, uh, I was just, Somebody commented on one of my other videos, somehow we were talking about Dr. Giggles, how I'd never seen it, and they'd never seen it, even though they had it. And I've never wanted to see this. I've never watched it. I guess now I will watch it. Uh, I don't know. I just always kind of thought, ah, it looks kind of cheesy. Not cheesy, but just, I don't know. I, I don't know what to expect, but you know what? I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. Dr. Giggles, I was you know surprised to see this sitting on the shelf. So, Dr. Giggles, guys, boom. All right. Still searching for uh, showgirls, but you know what? This one's a pretty good one, too. I always thought Burt Reynolds was pretty cool in this one, too. 
uh, striptease Demi Moore I always liked her um, kind of a good one you know, I don't know if I'll rewatch it but just kind of an iconic cover and, and film you know on VHS so kind of cool to have that one a real mixed bag here guys what do we got next Richard Pryor moving this is a good one I mean this guy was incredible I mean really this one was really really good I don't know if you've ever seen some of his other stuff but this is like early 80s I believe 88 so it's probably made in 87 maybe that's just the tape no, that was about 87 88 I think that sound, sounds about right um uh, yeah Richard Pryor who else Dana Carvey was in this and Dave Thomas and Randy Quaid Music by Howard Shore. Okay, I'm definitely watching this. I don't even know if I had seen this. I thought I did, but maybe I'm confusing it with something else. An old one. Richard Pryor moving, guys. Here's another classic comedy. Wildcats with Goldie Hawn. This is a great football movie, guys. Funny, uh, good, uh, you know, all-around story. Uh, it's a good one. I would definitely uh, recommend that, you know, if you can find the DVD or watch it on Netflix. It's, it's a good one. It's a funny, right? Pretty good. That one looks pretty good. Let's see here. Who's in this one? Uh, yeah, Swoozy Kurtz. That's right. That's right. Another good one. Guys, it just gets better and better. Over the top with Stallone. I mean, seriously, this one was great. When I picked this up, the lady's like, oh, I really, really like this movie. Uh, Andron Video. Never heard of that. What the hell? Some rental shop in the middle of nowhere, probably. But, uh, yeah, she's like, oh, I remember that movie. It was a great movie. I said, yeah, it's fantastic. Really, really good. Over the top. Here's some classics here. Look at this, the original uh, Nelson tape of Labyrinth. Very cool. Fantasy Adventure, of course, you guys, from 1986. Uh, if you guys remember that one. I know there's quite a few fans of these, like this and like Willow and some of that kind of stuff out there. Definitely a classic. Uh, we got a couple more here, guys. I can't believe that I found all these. Look at this. Teen Wolf 2. I mean, this is all from the same store, like in a couple of days. It's unbelievable. Teen Wolf 2. I don't know if I've seen this one. I've seen the first one. But uh, I may have to watch the second one now. Kind of cool just to find this, though. I mean, you don't see, like, who's, here's the thing. Who the heck was holding on to this? And then last week or however long it takes them to put the stuff on the floor, whether it's a month ago they donated this or whatever. What What's going on? Like, why are these people getting rid of this now? I've just always wondered what their story is, you know? They're just, ah, oh, let's just get rid of this crap. But, I mean, it's so old. It's not like the more common, you know, 90s or 2000s uh, VHS. So, you know, kind of a cool one. A little dinged up, but no big deal. And the last one, guys, one of my favorites... BMX Freakin' Bandits. Nicole Kidman's, I think, first movie or something like that. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, there's another cover. This is like a, a re-release cover, I think. But it's still from late 80s, this particular tape, I think. But uh, just a cool 80s BMX kind of... You know, anybody's seen Turbo Kid and these newer movies that are kind of like throwback stuff. It's kind of like that. I mean, it's... They must have got those ideas from, from this movie because this movie is about these guys BMXing and just kind of end up taking some stuff that belonged to these uh, mafia kind of guys. And the mafia guys are chasing them down and they're like riding all over the place on their BMX and like trying to raise money. They, they stole this stuff. They didn't realize what it was and then they try to sell it all to get money to build like a BMX park and stuff. It's incredible. Uh, Nicole Kidman's cute in this. She's younger. She's nice. You know, it's good to see her in here. Uh, but yeah, just just a really really cool 80s vibe. Uh, the music, the BMX, like just there's a lot of riding in this movie and stuff too. And like you see all the like you know all the all the old uh, you know biking gear, like the BMX gear, and like the guys with the pads and the you know and the the whole thing. It's it's really really cool. So, anyways, guys, check that one out if you can find it. That's it for today. I think I finally got through all my haul stuff that I've accumulated. So I'll probably be going out again in the next couple of days, and it seems like I'm just finding a ton of stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed that video, guys. Please leave some comments below. Let me know if you could guys figure out who the hell this guy is, because I don't know who he is. And I mean, like, I'll maybe just redonate him. But if he's somebody cool, I'll, I'll hang on to him. I just I have no idea who he is. 
Let me know, guys, in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up uh, if you enjoyed this video, guys. Please do subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell so you know when the next videos are coming out. We'll be doing some more video reviews, obviously. Some more thrift haul videos, obviously. And some more of my VHS collection videos as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. And we will talk to you guys on the next one. Take care, guys. Thank you.